Hey guys, Dr. Mustache here with another episode of Pet Lab. Thank you all for your great questions and comments. A bunch of you had terrific questions about emotions. Alyssa Ruiz asked, do dogs and other pets have feelings? And Mitchie Lolo asked, what kind of animals feel fear? And Isaiah Fairmont Harvey asked, does my cat love me? I'm sure he does, Isaiah. These are great questions. Human beings experience emotions and we wonder, do animals, especially our pets, have similar feelings? Well, the assumption that they do led to the popular Tumblr dog shaming earlier this year. Oh, this doggy just ate a flower. Oh, and this one was chewing on a slipper. Look at how embarrassed they are, right? Well, are they? I mean, does my dog feel shame? When we look into Fluffy's eyes, is it silly to think he knows he's done something wrong? Or is it crazy to think he doesn't know? It's a subject we still don't fully understand because it's not like we can just put emotions under a microscope. And it's not as if we can just ask animals how they're feeling. We often think that we see the entire range of human emotion in our pets, from love to hate to sadness. But professional pooch researcher Alexandra Horowitz has recently challenged what we think of as dog guilt. All pet owners are familiar with puppy dog eyes. I mean, we call them puppy dog eyes for crying out loud. You know the look. Don't be mad at me. It's the look that's across the dog shaming site. But in Horowitz's study, she asked dog owners to bring their pets to her and leave them for a while. When the owners returned, Horowitz told all of them that their dogs had misbehaved, whether the dogs had misbehaved or not. When the owners reprimanded their dogs, they all reported that their dogs looked guilty. So is this look guilt? Well, maybe we should take a step back and understand what guilt is. Guilt is a cognitive or emotional experience that occurs when a person realizes or believes that they have violated a moral or ethical standard. Dogs probably don't have this complex thought process. Researchers feel that human beings think that dogs have feelings because we're anthropomorphizing. That is, we're assigning human traits to dogs. So does that mean that man's best friend doesn't have emotions? Well, that's probably not true either. In a study from Bristol University, scientists discovered that dogs do have optimistic and pessimistic emotions. It's not quite the same range as humans, but there is a kind of happiness and sadness. The study discovered that some dogs, when left alone, also exhibit depressive behavior, like barking, destroying things, and pooping on your favorite rug. In 1862, Charles Darwin was one of the first to study this topic. In The Descent of Man, he studied the emotions of other animals. We have seen that the senses and intuitions, the various emotions and faculties such as love, memory, attention, and curiosity, imitation, and reason are in the lower animals. So pets have a range of emotions for the same reason that people do. Evolution. We evolved emotions to survive. See, when people were living in the wild with bears and mastodons and saber-toothed tigers, we needed to react quickly. It's better to have an emotional response like fear and get the heck out of there than to stick around and get eaten. And the more we cohabitate with these wolf descendants, the better able they are to understand our emotional clues. So does my dog feel shame? Well, sort of. At the very least, they get upset when we're angry with them and want to win back our affection. Dogs have a range of emotions and it's important that we understand them so that we can empathize with them in the same way that they are trying to empathize with us. So that's it for this week's episode. Thank you so much for all of your awesome comments and questions. And I want to say a special thanks to K-Pop Pastels, Ragey1310, and Beautiful People Member 7 for your awesome mustache love. And thanks to everybody who shared their anecdotes about their pets. I want to especially thank the otaku anime girl with her story about her dog, Gus. Arigato gozaimashita. I'm Dr. Mustache. This is the Pet Lab. And be sure to subscribe right here to the Pet Collective for a weekly dose of me.